Hey guys! So I'm here, Erin's off screen over here. She's over today because we're going to dye my hair. We're going to start off by like bleaching, I guess, kind of the ends of my hair. Bleach is a very scary word, but once you cut all your hair off once, it doesn't seem so scary to do it again. Um, so I have this bleach. It's like meant to help get like an ashy bleach blonde and it's called Light Up Hair Bleach. Uh, if there's another name in Korean, I don't know it, but this is what it looks like. And then I also have this Easy N Pudding Hair Color and it's in Iceland Ash Lavender. So I'm going to have Erin help apply, oops, help apply my bleach and then we're going to go for some ash lavender tones. So let's see what this all turns out like. Hopefully I still have hair by the end of this video. So the bleach didn't come with any gloves. Okay. The last time I bleached my hair I didn't even wear gloves. I just was like, whatever. I only need one because the bleach doesn't lather. I kind of feel mm -hmm. like a dentist. Like I'm going to start on the lower layers and do the top layer last. Yeah, go for it. I start where you can't see it as much. <laughs> yeah. Like did you, were you able to get it over your whole head last time? Or like all of the spots you wanted to? No. Well like, I don't know because I was doing it weirdly. Yeah. Uh, and by myself and not looking at my head. True. Pigments like might look neat too, like if there is some like brown layers still left in the hair. Yeah. Like in between the purple. Exactly. Exactly. Where the color is. I love that we're just convincing ourselves that we'll make this. <laughs> it's just like That's you gotta so believe in yourself. How it will all be fine. I believe it. Hey guys, so we have done round one of the bleach and as you can see, definitely got a fair bit of lightning going on. It's a little bit like goldy, Ooh, but it looks cool in this lighting actually. Um, but we're actually going to do a uh, second go now because as you can see, there's a few bits that we, we missed. So we're just gonna like fill in the blanks, so to speak, and just like, you know, Erin's gonna use her beautiful prowess and then we will put the purple color in my hair. So we'll film a bit of the back so you can see what it looks like now. And yeah, then we'll come back and you can see what it looks like soon. And actually the whole colour scheme you've got going on right now is very good. I haven't worn these, this shirt since December because it's been hanging on my drying rack in my loft <laughs> for seven months. <laughs> oh my god, Erin. Your laziness sometimes. It just... I just... It amazes I me. I can't explain it. I know. My mom and my sister were talking about my future boyfriend the other day and they were like, Erin needs someone who's adventurous because she likes to be adventurous, but sometimes she just needs a push. Yeah, that is exactly it. She just needs it. someone to keep her adventurous. Like, exactly. you're right. It's a lot more, like, throughout than I thought it was going to be. Good job. Look, you're surprising yourself. <laughs> Maybe not on this side as much, but over here. Okay. Well, we can, like, you know, start on this side. Yeah. And where this blonde comes through because like right now you can see yeah when I put my hair back it's like just at the end of like behind my ear length oh see so you get like a nice little glimpse yeah like a sneak peek yeah a private private showing show <laughs> <laughs> why don't we make my hair sound sexual because <laughs> like I always wear hats I only ever let my hair out when I'm in the bedroom which is it's where like we are now the ankle of your head <laughs> showing off a little sassy ankle yeah <laughs> exactly. whatever we're just like oh god i'm gonna watch this over and i swear i'm gonna like laugh <laughs> my ass off behind the sideburns Ooh, 
get in on the bends. Just leave the brows alone. Just all of a sudden I get like a... <laughs> I guess I feel in my eyebrows anyway. So even if I had bleached eyebrows, why would it matter? Yeah. But I think okay, that... I'm gonna go toward the back middle. In general, like, I'm not, like, confident with approaching guys to ask them on a date or, like, seeing someone and being like, hey, I, I would like to take, like, like to go to coffee. Like, yeah. I am very... And I look back on that and I think of like people that I'm like specifically like, oh, if I see them again, I should, I yeah. should ask, like I should just, and if they say no, they say no, you know what I mean? Yeah. Cause I think that's her mentality that I kind of like. It's like, she's just like, oh, if they say no, who cares? It's a bit yeah. awkward for five minutes and then like everything's fine. And I'm just My problem like, is like, what if they say yes? And then I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then I also get nervous about that. on like an actual date. Oh, I don't know how to start and hold conversation. Yeah. I'm just like a little bit like. Yeah, I don't know. For someone who's dated a lot, I've had a lot of <laughs> bad dating experiences. So I don't have very many great ones to go on. That's probably not great because then you have to, all those bad ones to look back on. And yeah, like, exactly. Oh. Pretty much. And that's why I'm just like, when I think of dating, I'm like, so much effort. Yeah. My highlighter is looking great from this angle. Look Ooh. at my... In person, it was very subtle. I didn't notice that you had highlighter on. I wear it every day. It looks really Just a little bit of glow. Yeah. I'm definitely sort of like on the sweatier side as a person. <laughs> um, that's one thing that I don't feel like no matter how much, like when I was big, I was like, oh, if I lose weight, I'll sweat less. No, don't think it's going <laughs> If anything, I feel like I'm almost sweatier, like as I get older. Okay guys, so we just did the next round and as you can see, there is a lot of blonde going on, which is great. So now we are going to go ahead and put the blonde ash purple stuff in now. Yay! Those are small. Yeah, I don't, neither of these are going to fit on my hair. I don't think maybe, maybe they're for some other purpose. Maybe. That we don't understand. Ooh. Okay. It almost looks edible, but. Don't eat it. I'm not going to eat it. Let me, let me, let me just. Jiggle some. Show what it looks like. It's like, ooh. Hey guys, so back again. Um, I wanted to finish off the hair vlog. We actually were going out to my friend Jordan's birthday that night. So I got a little quick snippet of the hair, how it turned out in the subway, but the lighting and everything is terrible. So you kind of see the balayage of the purple. That ash purple wa washed out really quite quickly. Uh, it's about a week later um, and what it did is like the purple pretty much washed out but it kept the hair very ashy blonde i did put in another treatment yesterday which livened up the ashy color and put maybe like a blue tint into it um i really want to show you guys what my hair looks like in person but it is so hard with the lighting i guess because it's very much like a gradient and the hair looks different in different places People in person really notice the different, like my students have noticed, my co-teachers noticed, my friends have noticed. Um, it looks amazing and everyone comments that it looks like a hairdresser did it, like the way that Erin has done it is so even and beautiful. Right now, it literally looks no different. I'm gonna try and come in close to the camera to show you a little bit and hopefully you can see, but I'm really not sure if it's like how well it is going to pick up like you can see a little bit coming through oh you can kind of see it if i do this if you see how the hair changes towards the bottom and the ash gray blue color is coming in there 
see the way my light the light hits my hair is kind of hard because it looks brown but you can see oh yeah if I let it this is the weirdest angle ever to do this but because of the brightness you can't really tell but as I move my hair around a little bit you can kind of see it a touch um, but like I said, in real life, you do really see the difference in the hair. It kind of has this like gray, blue, purple balayage effect and it looks really, really nice. And I think I like the fact that it isn't really full on. It's a little bit subtle. Like you can kind of see the way the light's picking it up here. The gray is coming through. Oh yeah, see, like this is how it kind of looks more in reality. Um, but just the way the camera picks it up, I think because my hair is still dark and it's still brown, the brown just takes like, the, like absorbs the light and it becomes really, really dark. So you don't see as much of the lighter colors. I definitely don't recommend that anyone dye their hair at home or bleach their hair at home. We are not trained professionals. I just wanted to do something different and I don't like paying to get my hair done. I don't pay to get my hair cut or anything like that either. And I wanted to do something different. Um, so we decided to do it and I trust Erin a lot and she has watched a little Brad Mondo. So thank you Brad for teaching Erin. So I want to show you guys one more thing. My hair was really dry afterwards obviously because of the bleach and I bought this product from Olive Young here in Korea and I don't know where else you can get it overseas. Um, it's called Forest Story Argan Oil Balm to Oil for Fragile Hair Special Care System. It's on special at the moment for about 5,500 won or 5,300 won, which is about like less than six dollars. And it looks like this. Hopefully that will. And when you get it in a pack, it comes in a box and it has this one and also a travel size one. And the reason I really like this is because for me, the after hair conditioners really make my roots and stuff very oily. Um, and then I find that normal oils, whereas this is a balm, I, the oils like really make my hair very very oily at the ends and I feel like they stick to me like even if I put the littlest amount in there and sometimes the oils also give me um, eczema on my head because I do suffer from eczema this I find does not weight my hair down it makes it super soft super voluminous it smells divine like oh, it's got this like linen-y soapy smell I don't know how else to describe it it smells so good like probably saying linen -y, soapy smell doesn't sound great but Oh, I love it. And when you put it in your hair, the smell like surrounds you. It's amazing. So I definitely recommend this as well. If you have fragile, dry hair and I blow dry my hair a lot. So after like maybe five days, I went and got this. Um, and it like the last few days, my hair has just been amazing and beautiful. Uh, and the good thing is as well, because it's a balm, you just like rub, rub it into your hands afterwards. Or I rubbed it into my hands and just put it on kind of like a moisturizer or whatever was left on my hands and it made them smell and feel divine. So definitely would recommend this as well. Uh, so yeah, I hope you liked this very strange video. Um, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that stuff. If you have any questions, please ask, but remember that I am just a normal person. So is Erin. Um, so we can't really give any hairdressing advice. <laughs> That's not the purpose of this video. It's just something fun and lighthearted. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love you guys. And until next time, this is the Kimchi Adventures.